Hi, welcome to my Windows 10 machine. This is Windows 10, it's 1803 edition. And we've made tutorials how to uh, install Windows 10, but then also how to uh, install an Arch Linux system on it. Uh, any Linux system will do just fine, as long as that system provides a way to um, show you that it can divide an hard disk into partitions. So we have here Windows 10. And at Linux B Linux, it's um, Mate that I've installed. So it's either this one or that. With Grub Customizer, we're told that Windows 10 needs to be the default. So it's the first line, is the default line. So if I don't do anything, don't touch my keyboard here with arrow ups, then I'll just boot off after three or four or five seconds. It will use that line. That's the default line. Now, this tutorial is about how to get rid of Linux again. I'm going to boot into Windows 10 to show you that there are, well, we have one hard disk, it's a virtual one, I know it's virtual box, but it doesn't matter if it's virtual box or a hard disk or a CD, uh, sorry, an SSD. It's still the same idea and the same procedure behind it. If you click here, right mouse click, or WinX as it's called, and go to disk management, you can visually see what's happened. So this is one visual, um, physical uh, hard disk. This line is one big hard disk. And it's divided into partitions, 2020. And this one is Windows, and this one is then uh, Linux. But at some point you will say, no, I want to get rid of Linux. I, it's not for me. I just want to have uh, Windows again on my machine. Then you do, shouldn't do anything here at all. Just go and stop everything, so shut down. Take the USB out of your drawer, or in this case, put the Windows ISO back in VirtualBox here, and boot up. That's what you just saw when it says, hey, you want to boot up from the CD or DVD? That's because this line is in there. So yes, I press a button now, press a key. So I'm actually not booting up from the hard disk or the SSD, but I'm booting up from this DVD or ISO or USB in physical form. And then we need to do some, uh, some commands. We need to, well, first tell English is okay, but I need to, well, it's not really necessary. Yeah, it's easier. Uh, so set your, your keyboard because otherwise it's going to be difficult for me anyway. Azerti and Querti. So I'm going to go for this one. And then you need to go not to install everything. Everything is installed. You have all your games on there. You don't want to install Windows. You want to repair your computer. And then the only thing you can choose, uh, continue is continue, turn off is turn off. The only choice, logical choice is troubleshoot. And then you need to go to the command prompt and then some commands will follow. Try the following commands in this system. Type bootrec. I said type bootrec and then slash capital F fix capital M fix MBR. So take a good look at the uh, capital letters and do exactly the same thing. Okay, so that's one thing completed successfully. There's another command that you can try out that's called fix boot, but it seems to give me no access, access denied. And we can also try out arrow up is easier maybe. Try out scan OS to see if that gives us anything. And the fourth command we can use is to ask him to rebuild the BCD. So I think the one command that's going to fix everything is actually the very first one, fix MBR. So I am following a tutorial that fixes MBR. It's not EFI, UEFI, it's, it's, it's real, the old bias MBR uh, thing that we've just fixed because this is a virtual box and standard they use MBR. Okay, so the only thing we need to do now is see if it works at all. I'm typing exit. I'm turning off my computer. So basically you do just the same in your uh, hard disk, your, your desktop or your laptop. And then get rid of the USB that's in, still in there and boot up and see if that 
did the trick if everything looks again normal so no grub should appear no grub has appeared and the MBAR has been fixed and Windows is booting up and the only thing you can hope is that, that now all your documents and files and games are all still there. We used an auto login, that's why you don't see me put in my password. The tip there is netplwis, let me just type it and then move on. Netplwis, it's a documented in the other video. Netplwis without the Z here in between. And then you see this little application. That's a very interesting tip. Now, what we still need to do, remember disk management. Remember we cut the pie into two pieces or the pizza in two pieces. I'm going to get rid of this one because this is Linux. Delete Linux. Don't want to see it anymore. And once that's gone, it's unallocated. Then you can say right mouse click extend the volume. We, we could shrink it. We don't want to shrink it. We want to extend the volume. We want it to become bigger. So the thing behind it should become part of your Windows. And the only thing you have to do is click, click, click. 40 gigabytes is now our C drive. And that is correct. And if we boot up, restart, everything should still be functional. We should have 40 gigabytes. There's no grub anywhere, just the logo of Windows is booting up. Again, this is MBR. There you go. And maybe this one, this PC, 40 gig. And then this as a last image. Disk management. And here you have it. 40 gigabytes. And last thing I'll do is go to the settings and say, guys, that's not a proper scaling. This is the size of your C. And the small partition is the one up here for only 550 megabytes. So that concludes our tutorial about getting back your Windows and deleting Linux again.